In this video, we are awakening the brand new Doe V2 inside of King Legacy. Now, King Legacy just updated a few minutes ago as of time of me recording this, and they added a ton of new things, but the first things I want to look at are the brand new awakened fruits. First one we're going to look at, of course, is going to be Doe in this video. I'll have more videos on the other ones later, but if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel, but let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So King Legacy updated, which means I have a bunch of videos to do. I'm so happy. I love I love playing this game, but I had nothing to do. Now they added a bunch in this update, but the things I want to do first, because it's going to be the easiest things to do, is we can actually go ahead and awaken our fruits. Now you're going to need three total of the dough in order to awaken it. I already have three. Luckily, I'm very glad it wasn't like Phoenix or Dragon because I only have two of them. But you need three of them because they changed how the awakenings work. Um, we st you still need a mass amount of fruits, but depending on the rarity, it's much less. So like epics are only four fruit to awaken it and legendaries are two fruits. We need three because we need to eat one of them. So let's go ahead. They also raised uh, max level. So I don't I want to have like max damage. Oh, they also add limited packs. Actually, I didn't know this. Permanent dough and gate. I already have gate though with a bunch of gems and money. And then they have permanent rubber, magma and ice. Oh, that's great. That's a great mix. Really cheap. I don't think I have any of those, actually. I might buy that. I mean, it's just 2,000 Robux, but you know what I mean. But let's go ahead and let's eat our dough fruit. I haven't, I've never actually used dough fruit before. This is my first time ever using it. So I, I want to use these real quick before we awaken them. So we have flexible punch, which is, which is a dough punch. That's pretty cool. Then we have heat shot, which is a fire version of it with the explosion at the end. That's kind of cool. Then we have liquid drops. And I'm pretty sure that slows down enemies if it hits. So that's pretty cool. Then we have rapid punches, which is a bunch of punches rapidly, if the name didn't make that clear. And then we have a sharpened spike, which should be, yeah, it's that right there. The giant spiky dough thing. And then we have dough spin, which is a very, very fast mobility that does not climb walls in this game. Aw. Well, the awakening probably does. Okay, let's go ahead interact with my fruit and we need two of them luckily we have enough of those i want to awaken this thing and i want to see how expensive it is gem wise it's gonna be so expensive isn't it I, I have to pay for gems i'm gonna do it anyway there you go two fruits now we can go ahead and awaken let's see oh that isn't too bad oh that's kind of cheap it's much better than love fruit my lord if y'all watched my love fruit video that thing was expensive they also changed that you don't need the artifacts anymore which is nice the update log can be found on the Discord of the game. It's on the it's in the description of the game itself, not my video. But yeah, we need 592 gems. That's not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and pay for some. I guess I'll just pay for the big amount. You get more out of it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and buy all of these. And I am forgetting something. One moment. We equipped all of them. Bunch of abilities. One second. Oh yeah, I think they also changed the ability icons. It's so nice. There we go. Now, now we look the part. I can't see anything though. My eyes are being covered. Look at us go. We're look, we're doing good. Okay, let's do this. So we have a bouncy fist. Oh wow, that was cool. One second. Oh wow, I like that. It goes it makes the enemy go all the way up. That is really cool. Nice amount of damage too. Then we have a missile dough. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. That's actually your... I like this fruit. I'm so happy. I like the missile though. Okay, now we have gluttonous bind. Oh, that is... That's good. That's a good stance. Oh. That does not... That does not do a lot of damage. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, that's really weak. Oh, it also oh, it does bind them, though. So that, that's not meant for damage. That's meant to keep people still. Try to combo them easier. Interesting. Then we have Sticky Assault. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, and the last hit, too, the sound. Oh, that is awesome. Long cooldown, though. Understandably so. so you probably do that, this, Sticky Assault, Chewy Rampage, like, all at once. Let's see that one more time. Do you have to hold it? Oh, okay, you do have to hold it. I let go that time. And whenever, and whenever the attack ends, it does that last hit of the big fist that's coming on the ground. That's kind of cool. Now we have Chewy Rampage. Oh, yes! It's this attack! Oh, that's really good. That was cool. Then we have Spiral Spike. That does damage, too, when you roll over it. Does it climb walls? It does! I, I predicted it, too. 
Nice. This one's fast, too. It has gravity. My lord, that went down real fast. I'm just saying, I think this might be my new favorite fruit, just visually. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I love that. And the trail it leaves behind, too. It kicks up ground, also. Now, this is a dough fruit. Oh, and you let go of it. It doesn't attack, too. I like this one, though. Oh, you can also direct where it goes. The B, the, the V1. That's really good. Oh, that is... That has such a lot. That has so much range, too. Okay, I'm just saying. This fruit is amazing. What am I using right now? The damage-wise, I'm using... Oh, yeah, I'm using Crustacean Armor, so it's not even boosting my damage. That... Th th this make... Th this fruit makes me really happy with how... Vi this is visually amazing. Oh, also, just a quick little thing. I They finally did it, but there's actual items in the battle pass now. There's a water kimono at level 34. I'm going to have to grind this now. This will be something I do over time. It looks like that's the only item, though. They do have also permanent... They have a permanent fruit. Permanent bombs in here, which isn't worth much. But they're both on the gold track, sadly. So you, you will have to pay the Robux for it. Either way. I bet they'll add more. I'll, I'll do that later. I'm only like rank 9, though. There's 50 levels. I'm at rank 12, actually. Pretty good. So yeah, this is a pretty good fruit. I don't know how... I, I'm not really... I wouldn't say good at PvP. Or knowing... Oh, this one also drags enemies with it. You can really control somebody. I can imagine dropping someone in water. By dragging them over the water if you're near, if you're near it. So yeah, this one binds. This one's about to keep people still. So it's not meant to have damage. Also, also just because Chewy Rampage doesn't deal damage unless you actually hit somebody with it. A passive tree has spawned? Okay, I need to find on the map for that. Okay, that's gonna be something I do later, but apparently there is a passive system in the game now, but if, if this one's a tree, I don't know where it's at. But I, I wanna test something. Yeah, okay, so, so this one doesn't do anything until after I run into somebody. Okay. But yeah, you can do a lot of damage really, really fast with this fruit. This one is satisfying. Also, is this the only awakened fruit for legendaries? I think it is. So you could. So this is the only one. This is the only one you can level up. Does that mean? Oh, because they added this as an awakening. I really hope we get awaken like dragon and phoenix and all those. Just don't don't awaken gate. G gate doesn't need to be more powerful. <laughs> at all. I use gate myself. It does not be more powerful. I might use this now, though, because I don't hang out in public service. I don't PvP. This one would be really fun to use. But yeah, no, get yourself the Awakened Doe. It's it's only 500, which is, I think, if I remember correctly, is relatively cheap or average, at least. Compared to most of them. But like, yeah, Doe is definitely up there. Get Awakened Doe and definitely Awakened Flame. I still love Awakened Flame. And one last thing I want to show before we end this video, I also, look at this. I got myself a YouTuber title. I've been recognized. They added a whole bunch of more titles and they added a YouTuber one. So I've been recognized as somebody. I'm very happy about that. They also added more colors too, but I don't think I'm ever going to get these because most of the titles are PvP related and I don't, I don't PvP. 20,000 players. Oh my God. Man, let me know what you think of Awakened Doe. I think it is spectacular.